Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this amazing video because I am so, so excited because this is a collaboration video, first time in the history of YouTube. One skill channel, we have a collaboration with another amazing YouTube PowerPoint creator, Slidecow. He is just a wizard when it comes to creating amazing PowerPoint slides. And what I really like and enjoy about SlideCow is that he has a video series called Make a Good Slide. So let me quickly show you what it's all about. So usually he takes a simple looking slide or in this case a table and he makes something amazing out of it. So I contacted SlideCow and asked him if he could create some extra difficult slide for me so that I could try out my skills and try to create a new fresh looking design. So let me show you what kind of slide I received from SlideCow. Skadoosh! So as you can see we have some smileys, we have a lot of text, we have a chart. So that's a pretty looking... Uh, slide pretty hard looking slide to redesign but i'm sure we can do we can do something here so let me show you what i did and now before going into the actual steps as slide cow would say how we went from this slide to this slide let's actually jump into the slide cow website i want to show you something amazing so let's type in slidecow.com he has a wonderful website please load okay okay now we're talking okay so uh let's go to the slide cow toolkit you might be wondering what is the slide cow toolkit so this is a powerpoint template but this is not just a PowerPoint template. I think the thing that really sets apart this uh, slide cow toolkit from the rest of the you know multitude of PowerPoint templates is that this uh, template has over five hours and 40 minutes of video instructions, video guidance, video tutorials. So just think for yourself, when was the last time when you got a PowerPoint template, you got over five hours of video instructions of how exactly to use that PowerPoint template? Well, in my personal experience, I, I never have uh, met a PowerPoint template which would have so much you know, hours of, of video that will help you how to use it in the best way. So that's, that's it's just simply amazing. And here we can check out the slides how they look like and you can see it's uh, it's pretty pretty beautiful for example this one oh i guess you can insert any photo that you want and your photo will be divided into these beautiful round triangles that looks just simply awesome oh and this one looks beautiful nice nice infographics nice so please check him out Oh, and as you can see, you can edit everything in the SlideCow toolkit. So, for example, you have a house, you can edit everything, windows and, you know, chimney, anything you want. And it goes the same, the same for the infographics and for the icons. You can change everything. So, that's beautiful. So, please go to SlideCow.com and check out his SlideCow toolkit. I think it's a really powerful tool for you to create beautiful professional looking PowerPoint presentations and you will get five hours and 40 minutes of video guide content. How cool is that? Okay, let's jump back into our step-by-step -step process how to go from this slide to this slide. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the actual steps of creating this second slide that I did based on the starting slide, slide cow slide. So first of all, you have to insert a blank new slide and let's choose a blank layout. Let's grab this first text box, which says, hey there, one scale, and paste it on our fresh white slide. Let's rotate the text box so it's fully horizontal. Place it somewhere on the top. It will be our title, title of the slide. Hey there, one scale. 
Let's fill these letters with black color for now, we will change it to white later on. Let's remove the outline from the letters. Let's choose font layout of black that I have used in my slide. Let's set the font size to 40 and let's make those letters very loose. So making your slide title with very loose just adds you know, a nice flavor to your slide title. Now let's copy this text box and paste it right below our slide title. It will be like our subtitle. Let's align it to the center of the slide, set the font size Let's set the font size to 40, 14. <laughs> A few more adjustments. Beautiful. Now let's go to the slide master. Let's actually copy or duplicate this blank layout. Let's paste our text boxes. Let's go to insert placeholder and choose a picture. And now let's just draw a rectangle. Now we have pasted the text boxes just to see how much space we need for the picture placeholder. Now we can cut these text boxes and paste them back into our slide. And now we can choose from the layouts, the layout that we just created in the slide master. Okay. And now what we need, we need this beautiful picture of a cow. And one great place to find beautiful high quality pictures is as you know, unsplash.com. Just type in the search bar, any thing that you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for some cows. As you can see, we have 244 pictures, so definitely we have something we can, we can use. So let's use this picture. Now let's click on this icon and choose the picture that we just have downloaded. Just find the place, the folder where you have downloaded your picture. And here we go. We have the picture. Now all we need to do is just resize, resize the picture so it looks like the way we want it. So I would like the cow to be bigger and more on the right side of the slide. So I just do just that. Beautiful. As you can see in my original slide, I had this uh, shadow coming from the picture. So let me show you how you can make this shadow. I think there's a couple of ways to make a shadow, but let me show you how you can do it with a rectangle. So I'll just uh, apply a gradient fill to this rectangle and I will make it look as if it's a shadow coming from the picture. Just make sure that both colors of your gradient are black and one of the gradients make it, I mean one of the colors make it completely tra transparent and it will look like a shadow. We can adjust this shadow a little bit more so it looks more realistic, something like this. Now let's actually add some color to the top of our slide. So we can pick any color from our picture and it will be the color of our uh, top of the slide. 
Now let's just make sure that our letters are white so we can see our letters. Beautiful. And we already have some nice progress, some amazing progress. And actually, let's copy this uh, smiley. I think it looks really beautiful. We can position it at the top right corner of our slide. Okay, send it to back. And we can crop the edges of the smiley so it does not go over the slide. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can continue with our devices. As you can see, I have added some devices in my uh, slide that I did. So we can quickly go to OneSkill Slide Builder to the resources, uh, device mockups. And we can use some of the devices mockups from our uh, OneSkill Slide Builder. So let's copy the mobile phone. Select it and hit Control Copy. Okay, so now let's start filling our devices with the photo. So let's actually duplicate the photo. Let's position it to the left side and bottom side of our slide. So it completely covers the first photo. Now we hit on crop and we crop it to the size of our laptop. Beautiful. Now we do the same procedure for our mobile phone. Let's duplicate this uh, background picture, align it to the slide, and now let's crop it to the size of our mobile phone screen. Beautiful. Now, as you can see in my original slide, I had some kind of color overlay or gradient applied to both screens. So let me show you how you can create a color gradient for your devices. So basically draw any, any rectangle that fully covers your device and apply a gradient, transparent gradient for that rectangle. So let me choose uh, black and yellow colors so that you can better see how the colors uh, look like. Let's make those colors go at 45 degrees. And let's make those both colors transparent by 30%. So both black and yellow colors are, have transparency of 30%. Now let's actually use the eyedropper tool and choose one blue color from those uh, mountains in the background and let's choose one vibrant lively green color from from the grass beautiful yes something like this we can even set both colors to 35 uh, percent of transparency so it's even more transparent so we can better see the mountain behind the laptop so now that we have created this uh, slide gradient for our laptop. We can reuse it for our mobile phone. Just uh, adjust the size so it nicely covers the whole screen of mobile phone. And beautiful, so we are pretty much done. All that's left, we have to fill our devices with the content. So as you can see, chart and some, some icons for the mobile phone. So let's uh, select the chart and the original slide by slide cow. Let's make all of the text white. Let's paste the chart. 
let me actually delete the chart title because I'll add just a custom text box on top of the chart. We can reuse our slide title, so just copy it and paste it. Let's type in the name of the chart, my chart of happiness. So let's reduce the font to 20. Okay, now we can remove these horizontal lines from the chart because I don't think we need them. We can have a much better look without those lines. Okay. Now let's mo let's make our uh, chart line white. A few more adjustments so that our chart looks the way we want it to look. We can actually put an arrow at the end of our chart line. Just select the end arrow type and choose uh, arrow. We can even add a shadow to our line so it looks even more cool. Okay, beautiful. Now we can continue with the mobile phone. Let's uh, duplicate this uh, this text box and type in reasons why I am happy. So let me just copy the logos of Slide Cow and One Skill from our slide that we already did that I have already done. And let's actually draw a rectangle. So we will put both of these logos in some kind of rectangle. No fill and white outline. Uh, let's just make sure that uh, three rectangles fit in, into, into our mobile phone. So I guess we should uh, make our rectangle a little bit uh, smaller. And now all of the three rectangles should fit nicely together inside the screen. Beautiful. Okay, so as you can see in my slide that I did, I have a few icons. So one icon, Ove Pizza. So where can you find an icon of a pizza? You can find Icon Pizza on flaticon.com. I'll put a link in the video description. I'll put a credit to the creator of this icon as it is required. So you can download the SVG format. Free download with the credits to the author. Now just find your uh, pizza icon, click it, drag it and drop it onto your slide. Assign it a white color. We can even add a shadow to our icon and resize it so it fits the screen of our mobile phone. And we can just uh, copy this text box, it's really nothing too much complicated, so we just can copy from the previous slide, paste it over here. So as you can see, Slide Cow is really happy because uh, we are collaborating, we are friends on YouTube, because pizza exists in the world and it's just the way of life. So I think that's really the fundamental reasons why, why he's happy and I'm happy for him. <laughs> I like when people are happy. And yeah, this uh, icon, the world icon, was taken from the uh, Liney icon set. I'll put the download link in the video description. I have these uh, same icons in my 
uh, one skill slide builder so let me just copy it from that one skill slide builder and let's copy it to to our slide beautiful so as far as i can tell we're finished with the design of the slide looks amazing so this was the slide i did myself and here is the slide that we did together right now so as you can see almost identical <laughs> and now let me quickly show you how you can animate the single parts so basically i will be using the flying in effect for all of the elements i'll just adjust the directions from where those elements are flying in and as well i will add some bounce uh, bounce effect bounce and effect for each of those animations so that when the element flies in into the screen it bounces a little bit at the end so you will shortly see how it looks like something like this beautiful so now after we have uh, created one animation for one element we can just quickly paste it to the rest uh, of the elements this way it will be much much faster to do it So let's check what we did. Everything bounces beautiful, amazing. So here you go ladies and gentlemen, now you know step by step how you can go from this slide to this slide, amazing. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss future videos by one skill and future collaborations by one skill with other great youtubers and powerpoint creators as slidecow please visit slidecow channel and please visit his website please check out his amazing powerpoint slidecow toolkit you can do lots of amazing stuff with it so once again thank you for watching if you found this video interesting and useful and valuable please like it and share it with your friends and for now thank you and see you on my next video